What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media, back with another video. So a few years back when I was visiting Singapore, I did a video on taking the MRT train and that video got a bunch of views. So today, I'll be doing something quite similar. I'll be telling you guys how to take an MRT train. This is really beneficial for tourists who are looking to take public transportation. The train can pretty much take you anywhere from the airport to the city and travel around the whole island. So let's get started. All right, first things first, you get to any train station and go to the control station. So what you do there is you get an easy lane card. And essentially what this easy lane card does is it lets you to go in and out through that gantry. Um, it is five, sorry, it's $10 for an easy lane card and has $5 value. Uh, if you want to top it up, there are these machines at any train station. You pretty much place your card here. Tells you how much value, and then next you say add value. You can choose cash or card. In my case, I'm a foreigner, I'm cash. And you pretty much just put your cash in, you insert it, top it up, and you're good to go. And this is Singapore's MRT map. There's a bunch of different lines and there's always two different directions on which side to go. So for example, right now we're at Tanamera. We're on part of the East-West Green Line. Pretty much goes all the way down here. If you do need to transit, you can come towards like town, city hall, that lets you transit to the red line. If you need to go to a different line, like the yellow line, transit right here to the yellow line the blue line you can come here here transit to the blue line so a bunch of different options uh, for today we'll be going towards the airport so we'll make sure to go this direction all right so this train just arrived here we're going towards Changi airport so we're gonna board the train so we just boarded the train and you can look at that map right there, it tells you how many stops. Usually it tells you roughly how many minutes it's going to take as well. So yeah, uh, for us, from Tanamera to Changi Airport, just two stops shouldn't take that long. Alright, so we just reached Changi Airport. And same thing, you just grab your EasyLink cart and you just tap out. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap up MRT vlog here. So really easy, like I said, all you really need is $10 gets you an easy link card with $5 value. You top it up with cash if you're a foreigner or an ATM card. Um, it's really easy to get around. It's so much cheaper than taking a cab. So on average, if you were to take the train from one end of Singapore to the other end, you're probably spending less than $5. So it's definitely really affordable. With the easy link card, you can take buses as well. So buses or the MRT train. So definitely recommend it if you're here to travel Singapore on a budget. Um, a lot of locals use MRT train and buses on the daily. So this is a, pretty much like how New York, people take the subway to work every day. This is a staple mode of transportation for most locals. So again, if you guys stay to the end, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.